It was December 11th, 2018. I did a video, the video you see on the screen, Bitcoin bottom forming, BTC analysis, December 11th. And if we go to the Bitcoin chart zoomed out, where's December 11th? Right around here. I would say that this was the bottom forming for sure. The bottom of the bear market. You go over here, Cardano price prediction. This was June 6, 2020. Cardano ADA was at eight cents. Check this out. $3.33. All-time high gives you an $86 billion market. I look crazy. I look crazy. Cardano ADA sitting at $0.08. Cents, and I'm talking about a plus, a $3 plus ADA. You go to the ADA chart, zoomed out, and this is what it looks like. ADA broke $3 at the top of the bull market. I am not saying this or showing this to pat myself on the back at all. But I'm talking about an $11 ADA in this video. And currently ADA is $0.56. Cents. And so I want to back it up with data. Now, those video clips that you saw, those videos that I did, the, the, the journey that I've been tracking in crypto, it's all based on data. There's nothing special about me. So everything in this video is nothing having to do with me or just a, a wild, just out of left field guess. It's all based on the same exact data. It is nothing more. This is just unemotional technical analysis as it kind of integrates into this longer term growth story of these early stage assets because that's where we are it's a volatile journey the only thing that we could possibly use that is somewhat reliable is data so everybody let's jump into the video and talk about an 11 dollar cardano because in my opinion as i've discussed already in previous videos it is so realistic and in this video i truly do want to explain why so please hit the subscribe if you're a subscriber or you're a new subscriber, turn notifications on, get these videos when they come out, especially some maybe Bitcoin spot ETF breaking news on the horizon. I appreciate all of your support. So I, I tweeted earlier, I said, and there were, I was going through the comments there, but I tweeted earlier, I just said $11 Cardano is very realistic figure for bull market high based on new data I just discovered. Video later explaining why, and this is the video I want to go and I just want to point something out on the ADA weekly chart. This is what the weekly chart looks like. We are here once again, just tracking the, the pre-bull market vibes of ADA. Now, in previous video, I discussed this whole concept. If ADA can reach a 4% dominance in the coming cycle, because this is what ADA has done in previous cycles, it's touched around 4% dominance. If it can hit 4% dominance in... This next bull cycle at a ten trillion dollar market cap. If we go to look at total market cap of crypto, it's pretty easy to visualize with the trillions of dollars that are getting ready to come into crypto institutions, retail. Pretty easy to visualize. Kind of a, the next bull market for for total crypto market cap. We can just kind of look at it potentially, right? This is give or take what it could look like. Very speculative to use a bars pattern to do that, but ten trillion dollar market cap next bull next bull cycle. 4% for ADA, and this is what we discussed, $400 billion market cap. That's that number. Now, here's what's so interesting. That's the $11 number. What's interesting is when I started digging into more data, and that's why I tweeted or posted what I did earlier, more data that I discovered as it pertains to Ethereum, it actually ended up right around $11 as well. And I want to break that down in this video. It's going to be a pretty short video, but a powerful video. So, we know the market dominance, 4% story for ADA, the potential there. What I've said also in regards to the, four, the 400 billion is, okay, Ethereum in its first DeFi bull market hit over $500 billion market cap. I've been saying, you know, 400 billion is, is I think realistic because there's a good possibility Cardano doesn't repeat what, what Ethereum did in terms of market share and, and just the value right? So let's, let's undershoot the 500 plus billion dollars, that 4%, $400 billion market cap, $11 ADA realistic. But I dug deeper into Ethereum data, data. Check this out. So this was Ethereum's first bull market cycle, right? This is the cycle that ADA is getting ready to enter for, for itself. And this is an Ethereum chart, but this is what Ethereum did. And now that's why I have over here speculatively the bull market high Cardano 2025, that's what we're going to be seeing play out on the actual ADA charts, right? That's what we're looking at because this is 
Ethereum's first bull, DeFi bull cycle. This is going to be ADA's first uh, uh, DeFi bull cycle. Now we go back and we go back another cycle, right? To the 2017 bull market. And we look at the Ethereum chart. Ethereum broke $123 billion, right? Now, to compare Cardano's version of this, that would very simply be Cardano's last bull market that it had. That was its first like true ready to go bull market and ADA hit $93 billion market cap. So Ethereum in its in that first bull market for itself hit 123 and Cardano ADA hit 93. So ADA basically hit 75% of the market cap of Ethereum. So it was actually lagging behind Ethereum. It didn't it didn't quite capture as much value, right? In terms of the bull market happening. But it was a pretty powerful bull market for ADA. If you remember, this was an incredibly fun time. 93 billion, just under 100 billion. So if we take that same type of concept and we say, okay, instead of just throwing random numbers and saying, hey, Cardano's probably going to undershoot 546 billion, why don't we use what it did last time? 75% of what, it, what if Ethereum did. And if that's the case, 75% of 546 billion is 409 billion. That is 75% to the way of 546 billion, a $409 billion market cap speculatively for Cardano in 2025. And what's so crazy about it is if we go to the ADA chart, that is around an $11 ADA. So now we have these two just pieces of data. That is to say 4% market dominance that is speculatively in a $10 trillion market, $400 billion market cap for ADA, that's $11. And then on the other side, we have more data that says if ADA reaches 75% of Ethereum's DeFi cycle, hitting 546, undershoots it, doesn't even hit 500 billion, actually hits 400 billion, well, ADA is looking again at right around $11, $400 billion mark cap. We have two extremely, I would say, reliable data points in this scenario where crypto really does grow, crypto explodes, and, and Cardano is getting ready to go into its first DeFi cycle. That value, that, that, that market shares up for grabs for Cardano, and I think it's so realistic. ADA did it last time, 75% of Ethereum's first bull cycle. I think it can hit 75% of Ethereum's DeFi cycle, right? And so that's what it would look like, $11. Now, here's what's cool and exciting for me. You start toning down the numbers. What if it doesn't even hit 75%, right? Less, $350 billion. That's a $10 ADA. I just, this isn't, my, this isn't my prediction for the next bull cycle for ADA. But if ADA did half of that, and only did $200 billion, meaning it only basically surpasses its previous all-time high by $100 billion. It's still looking at like $5.50 all-time high for ADA. You look at this chart for the next cycle, that is very close. So this gives you a sense, and again, none of us know what's going to happen. I, I would sit here and say, maybe ADA will never break all-time high. Maybe Bitcoin will never break all-time high ever again. Maybe Maybe... It's just the space is not going to grow. And there are certainly people out there that think everything's going to explode except for Cardano. But everybody, I've been doing this for years, and there are no guarantees, but I like reliable data that isn't emotional. It's not hype. It's just, hey, this is realistic. This is, if, if the consistencies of these charts continue and these cycles continue and trillions do come on board, this is just realistic numbers for this blockchain, this top, consistently top 10 blockchain that's just been building in such a good way. Remember, security, decentralization, scalability, truly building in a different, different technical fashion than much of the, the space right now. And so that's it. That's just some more context around the $11 target. That's not to say that's my official prediction, but that is more data. And I look forward to bringing even more data into these charts and into these cycles as we continue to kind of grow, go into Bitcoin having and into the next cycle. So let me know your thoughts, everybody. What do you think? I know there's going to be a lot of people that think it's crazy, but I just simply don't. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you're having a good week. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.